In this video, I'm going to play through Baccarini Minuet. I am going to skip out the repeats because I just want to go through, I'm going to stop and I'm going to say some of the important things that we're looking for. Um, but obviously the repeats in the form is very important. It's very similar to Gossette Gavotte, where, um, except every section is repeated. In Gossack, one of them is not. Every section is repeated um, as you play from the beginning to the end of the page. And then when you get to the end of the page, there's a DC al fine. So that means da capo, go to the beginning and play without repeats until you see the fine, the word fine, which happens at the end of bar 21. Um, so, and you'll hear that on your CD, of course. So I'm not gonna do that. So in the beginning, we need to make sure that we start here at the tip. We start at the tip and we're about to do that syncopation rhythm with a slur. So playing. Stop and grab. Grab. Syncopation. Okay, so note in the music where the accents are. Um, it's very important to have kind of an elegant character when you play this piece. So just notice that there are some decrescendos at the end of every single phrase. Go away, which means that the last bow is smaller. Go away. Now more, strong bow. Here comes the high three box. Echo, less. Strong again. Okay, and make sure that your octaves there do a decrescendo. So more, less. Now you should be at the right spot of the bow to do mezzo forte. There's a nice string cross here. Try to keep it smooth. And don't forget to put your first finger on two strings. Now the same, but, but less. string jump here, don't forget to cross with your elbow. Go away, more, less, more. Make sure you cross there as well. Okay, so if you do take the repeat, you're in the right spot to play. And if you're gonna go on to the trio, then at this time we do a bow circle. Circle, go to just below the middle. The next three notes are two regular and the third accented. But. So you may notice that there's a crescendo in that bar and all it means is kind of like um, Handel Bore. We're gonna make every bow bigger and bigger. Bigger, 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 bigger. So I really recommend that in this part you rec you practice just one bar and you stop, just like I did. So I would practice it this way. Now on this one, there's that tricky fourth finger E thing, but we want to start bigger with our bow and make it smaller. Okay, now crescendo, bigger and bigger. cross here and decrescendo. Circle. Start here below the middle point. Big to small. More less east. Um, good. I think on the preview video I started that down bow but it is up bow. Okay, going on. So we've just played more, less, least. And that happens of one and two and three and one. And one. And one. Synchro this. Okay, so this is a little tricky just because of the accent. So I was obviously counting the beats and counting the subdivision. Um, I'm going to go on. It's just important to feel the rest. So here we are at bar 30. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Rest, rest, rest. Getting bigger. Getting smaller. Sing, 
things to kind of look for in the, this la last half are that you have nice bow circles and that you're really counting those rests. So parents, you can help by going or saying rest, rest, or clapping on the rest until that feels easy. Um, and also just go along listening to the CD and tapping out every um, quaver so that you know exactly how long the rests are and exactly when to come back in. The tricky spot really is in bar 36 where you've got one rest, three, and one. Um, otherwise, it's not actually so bad. All right, best of luck and enjoy this piece. It's really, really nice. Um, I would just say keep it light and make sure that the tone is always always very clear and that it, it feels a little bit dance-like, um, but don't ignore your dynamics and phrase endings.